Multiple, multiple reports surfaced last night that Notre Dame defensive coordinator Marcus Freeman is set to be named the school's next head coach. The reports also note that current Notre Dame offensive coordinator Tommy Reese will remain on staff in the same role under Freeman. Significant, obviously, because Brian Kelly made a strong push for both to join him at LSU. Now we know that will not happen. I'll be honest, I think the move's a bit surprising. Not necessarily that Marcus Freeman got a head coaching job, but maybe that he got that one as a first-time head coach. That's a heck of a job to take on, but we all knew it was probably going to be a one-year stop for him anywhere at defensive coordinator before he got the job. Just so happens he got the Notre Dame job. The, the Tommy Reese move definitely surprises me. So now where does Kelly turn now? Yeah, it's definitely a little surprising, but it's also something you had to have seen as a possibility. And also Brian Kelly had to have seen as a possibility because I'm new, I'm sure that he took this job knowing the opportunities that it would open up for both Marcus Freeman and as a, and for Tommy Reese as well. I mean, they're still coaching a top six team that still technically has a chance to make the playoff. And I'm sure he has some kind of vision and some kind of plan now that he has to maybe go with his plan B. But the question is, how do they execute that plan? What are they looking for? And who's even out there right now for LSU to hire as their offensive and defensive coordinators that's true there's not that you know slam dunk candidate that's in the spotlight that everybody's going to be going after that at we know those, at those positions that we know of right now there's still some time but i would expect now that you know it's not going to be freeman or reese that to pick up a little bit here maybe in the coming days and in weeks that it becomes a, a bit more of a clearer picture i'll say the tommy reese decision surprises me because we kind of talked about it a little bit yesterday i think he's a young up and coming guy but i think he's someone who still maybe kind of needs brian kelly now he's on his own under a first-time head coach at a job like Notre Dame. I, It hasn't been great on offense, but it's been good. And as long as Brian Kelly was there to maybe help guide him and continue to coach him up, I liked the idea of Tommy Reese there. Being at Notre Dame, that's going to be interesting. But that's his pro that, that's their problem now, not ours. Uh, I think the name you're going to see come up a lot, maybe from fans and media alike, is Durante Jones. And does he maybe even get a look? And I'll say this. I... Not that maybe he doesn't get a look. I just feel like Brian Kelly being somebody who's as organized and as into alignment as he is, <laughs> is going to want to get his own guys in there at, at that position. That, that's one reason I, I maybe don't see that happening. Could it happen? Sure. But just kind of Brian Kelly's personality, I coordinator-wise, doesn't seem like someone who would retain that position. Yeah, so first off, Durante, I don't think he'll get the job, but he definitely deserves a look. You can't deny what he did the last four games of the season or what his defense did, allowing just 18.5 points per game over those final four games and an average of under 300 yards, 299 per in those four games. Like I said, maybe he doesn't get this job, but his ascension as a coach, I think, is going to continue. As far as where LSU goes, I think one thing we need to consider as we go to break, a little off the wall, do they consider anybody in the NFL right now that maybe we would not consider uh, like a couple of weeks ago? Because Brian Kelly does have connections in the league. We talked yesterday about him uh, him having Robert Sala work for him and have, him having Matt LaFleur work for him as well. You know, Alabama went that route this year, bringing in Bill O'Brien. You know, Kentucky went that route this year too, bringing in Cohen from the Rams. And that worked out really well for Kentucky and Alabama. We can have that conversation later. But Saban usually makes good hires. So that's something else that I think we should consider. Uh, there's going to be a lot to consider. But picture's a little bit clearer now. No Freeman, no Reese. So the next coming days, maybe we'll get a little bit even clearer view of where Brian Kelly goes.